welcome now before you watch this video make sure you have watched part 1 of this video so far in part 1 we have seen tesla's invention of alternating currents radio radar and x-rays one more important invention of tesla is hydroelectric power since childhood tesla himself dreamed of harnessing power of the great natural wonder niagara falls he also mentioned in his autobiography my inventions in the schoolroom there were a few mechanical models which interested me and turned my attention to water turbines after hearing a description of great niagara falls i pictured in my imagination a big wheel run by the fall tesla proclaimed this to his uncle that one day he would go to america and carry out this scheme after the war of currents AC versus DC in 1895, Westinghouse won the bid for building the alternating current generating plant at Niagara Falls. With the help of Westinghouse, Tesla built the first hydroelectric plant at the Niagara Falls. On the other hand, Edison has failed to establish DC as the dominant form of electricity and also failed in his effort to take over Westinghouse. After the war of currents, Edison's company switched from direct current to alternating current and fired Edison from his own company. JP Morgan who backed Edison during the war of currents wanted all the hydroelectric power under his control. So he started manipulating the stock markets to bankrupt Westinghouse. In the weak moment of financial crisis it was difficult for Westinghouse to pay licensing fees to Tesla. Westinghouse asked Tesla to waive the licensing charges to his company. Tesla turned down patent claim on alternating current, reducing his rights over the profits with Westinghouse, thinking he was the only one who believed in his idea of alternating currents. The torn contracts would have generated Tesla billions of dollars. Using this opportunity, Morgan threatened to sue Westinghouse over his ownership of Tesla's patents. In the unaffordable lawsuit with Morgan, Westinghouse signed over the Tesla's patent to Morgan and Morgan's company became the biggest supplier of electricity. Invention of Transistor In 1898, Tesla presented his new invention, Teleautomation, at Madison Square Garden's first electrical exhibition. It was in the form of miniature boat with two devices. A remote control and a hidden loop antenna inside the boat. Because of previous record of people stealing his idea, Tesla did not mention the most important factor in this invention. Basically, it was the invention of logic gates, which are used in transistors. After half century later, in 1947, first transistor was invented which is responsible for the core technology needed to build the modern computers, which has hundreds and thousands of AND and OR logic gate operations. This is a clear evidence of Tesla's early inventions laid the foundation for the modern computers. However, Tesla's original use case for this technology was not for computers. It was for use of remote control machines and weapons to be used by the military to end all the wars. This invention adds up more patents to Tesla's name, such as logic gates, which is the foundation of modern computer, remote control military vehicles and weapons, robotics industry, the wireless technology, and the radio industry. Earthquake Machine Tesla was fascinated with the power of resonance and experimented with it not only electrically but on the mechanical plane as well. In his lab, he was building steam power electric generator, mechanical vibrators and tested their powers. One of his experiments got out of hand. Tesla attached a powerful little vibrator driven by compressed air to a steel pillar. Leaving it there, he went about his business. Meanwhile, down the street, a violent quaking built up, cracking windows and breaking heavy machinery of its anchorage. Tesla's vibrator had found the resonant frequency of deep sandy layer of subsoil beneath his building, setting up an earthquake. Soon Tesla's own building began to quake and just at the moment the police burst into the lab. At this moment Tesla was seen smashing the device with a sledgehammer, the only way he could promptly stop it. Tower of Dreams 
in 1901 when Tesla wrote an article talking with the planets about wireless communication all over the world which would relay telephone messages to broadcast news, music, stock market reports, private messages, secure military communications and even pictures to any part of the world. JP Morgan, hoping to capitalize on the future of wireless technology, invested money for the project and building the tower. Morgan offered $150,000 to Tesla, but after the construction, Tesla realized the tower needs to be double of height from the current to send messages all over the world. He also explained to Morgan that the tower can transmit electric power from the ionosphere of Earth and transmit it to the needed household in any part of the world. To this, Morgan replied, if you can't put a meter on it, then what is the use of making it? And he discarded Tesla's project. Unfortunately, Tesla didn't share all his idea on this project because he was scared that someone will again steal his patents. Thought Camera Now this is just a theoretical invention of Tesla. He did not actually made anything about it. But the basic concept is to photograph your thoughts on the screen. Tesla's idea behind this is, when any thought come into our mind, it come by some reflex action, which produces relative image on our retina, which can be read by suitable apparatus, ultimately reading the mind of the person. Again, this was just his theoretical invention, but researchers are trying to explore the idea of reading mind, and in future if we succeed in doing that, we know Tesla laid the basic foundation of the idea and that's why Tesla is known as the man out of time or man ahead of time. There are many other inventions of Tesla and his life story in the book Tesla Man Out of Time. In short, all his life greedy people around him has taken advantage of his inventions literally removing him out of the history. He was a celibate for all his life but felt in love with one pigeon. Tesla had many pigeons he fed and cared for, but one he was particularly fond of, he described it as being a beautiful female bird, pure white with light grey tips on its wings. The bird when died, Tesla said at that moment something went out of his life and he knew his life's work has finished. In 1943, Tesla died in New York in a hotel room. In one of his quotes, Tesla said, Present is theirs, but future is mine. And if you take a look around, I think it is his future. What do you people think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. If you also think more people should know about Tesla, please share this video, give it a like and subscribe.